Hi everyone, welcome to another project update of our TDX Copter. This week we accomplished two goals. We've uh, established communication between the quadcopter and the computer using UTP communication wirelessly. So uh, we can now transmit data from the quadcopter to the computer, analyze it there and plot a graph or well just uh, display some general information. For example, quadcopter has started or motor is turning and now it's shutting down. And the other thing we did is we've built this uh, frame so we can do some testing, some experimenting on control loops. And I know that our goal is to, to build a quadcopter that can hover in the air and then stay at the exact same position uh, with just small errors. Uh, and obviously this needs a quite a good uh, control loop. We don't have uh, done that yet but in order to get there we uh, do this step by step and this is the first step this one axis gimbal and for now we just did some testing we didn't do any calculations we we didn't even filter the data we also don't uh, use uh, offsets <laughs> so it's quite messy but it's still astonishing what results we can accomplish with that and we will show you now three, three videos um, of three different control loops. Now you see the P part, P stands for proportional. And this means the motor speed is proportional to the angle the sensor measures. And as you can see, this isn't very stable, it begins to oscillate. And I, if I didn't put my hands there to block the movement, it would crash. This is now the D part, D stands for differentiation or derivative. So this means uh, the motor speed is proportional to the change of the angle. If the angle doesn't change, the motor speed will stay constant and if the angle changes, it will steer against it. As you can see, it, it doesn't stay in the middle, it will drift away. What you see now is the I part, I stands for integration, the angles get integrated and the motors will react uh, on this integrated value. So this is a very slow control loop. It, it takes a while until the value gets high enough so the motor A has a higher speed than motor B and it will in flip. Now all three parts are combined and as you can see it's stable. The P part will keep it in the middle. The D part uh, does some damping so if you accelerate it then it will it will, it will stop, it will steer against it and the I part will keep it level as well because it's very slow and does it sh its job like that. It still has some hiccups, I mean it's not perfect, there, there are some errors, we don't know what's causing them, uh, probably just uh, the programming, it doesn't run uh, very regularly, it probably has some that's it for now. In the next few weeks we will work on the sensor data, how to get it regularly, how to filter it and also how to combine the different sensors, I mean how to combine the accelerometer with the gyroscope so we get a better estimation of the position and maybe we will also start working on MATLAB and Simulink, get to know it a little bit and do our first uh, simulations and see how this goes. That's it. Uh, don't forget to check out our uh, project page on the Toradex Challenge website and also don't forget to like this video.